what I gotta lose. Tell me everything, yeah. Tell me what I gotta lose. Oh, tell me everything, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me what I don't know. What's happening, guys? Welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesday. And today we're gonna be talking to you about. I say we. I don't know why we say. I don't know why I say we. <laughs> it's only me. But later, it's not gonna just be me. You'll see. Look forward to that. Uh, yeah. So today we're gonna be talking about a really fun and easy video effect that you can do on your next shoot to make sure uh, you have a twin or. Uh, two twins or even as many twins as you would want we're gonna be talking about cloning yourself in your videos really easy not hard may look hard may look complicated but I'm telling you anyone who tells you it is they're lying because it's uh, it's not all right guys so I brought us to the backyard to show you an example of kind of like what I am talking about I have two chairs let me get two chairs one two Okay, so guys, let me go ahead and quickly explain the process of cloning yourself um, as a video effect. And one, you're gonna need to take two separate videos. Let me, let me show you what I mean. You are going to need to make sure you have video of yourself in several parts of the picture. So, um, here I am in this chair. And now, here I am in this chair. Crazy, right? Let me show you what happened. So easy, so easy. But there is one thing that you need to know to make sure you're able to pull off this effect without any trouble. So as you can see, uh, when your characters start to get in front of each other, it's a lot harder to mask the video. Um, and you'll, 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 I'll show you, I'll show you. It's a lot harder to mask the video in post. So when we are filming this scene, we need to make sure that our two, we need to make sure that our two characters are clearly separated from each other so that uh, we have no problems. Okay, so now that he has explained how we are going to be filming the video, let's go ahead and show you how we're gonna be editing it in Premiere. All right, so now that we have our program open, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the footage. And I recorded everything in this one file, just so it's pretty easy. And I just recorded myself sitting in both chairs. So let me go ahead and bring some of this footage in. <clears throat> and then I'm going to, on top of the other footage, bring in this clip so you just place one clip on top of the other one and uh, immediately you can't see the bottom clip but we're going to go ahead and fix that really quickly so what we're gonna go ahead and do here is we're gonna go to opacity and it's important especially if you've already done some color grading to make sure you're not going to mask the color grading but you're going to opacity and you click this, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna turn this, we're gonna come over here. Wow, look at that, look at that. I'm appearing. And we're just gonna go ahead and put this mask on this side of our clip. Just like that. And immediately we have two of me, um, but just to smooth out this mask just a little bit from side to side, I'm gonna go ahead and put a feather on here and usually I just do about 80. Um, so it's a nice little feather, uh, nothing too big, but just smooths out, especially since you're, because you're recording these two clips at separate times. And if the light has changed just a little bit, you're gonna have a, nice line down the middle if you don't feather your uh, your two if you don't feather your mask a little bit so um, pretty pretty simple and now there is two of me if I play back 
So anyway guys, I hope you found this video helpful. It is a pretty entry level, clone yourself kind of tutorial. There's a lot more complicated things you can do with VFX. Um, if you want an example, you can watch the trailer for Living With Yourself. It's a wonderful Paul Rudd TV series. It goes to show that there are so many possibilities with VFX. It's pretty exciting stuff. And hopefully this very entry level tutorial you found helpful, fun, and um, you can use it in later projects. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.